to the InterNACHI podcast. My name is Ben Gramico. I'm from InterNACHI. That's the International Association of Certified Home Inspectors. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about um, how to write digits and hyphens in your home inspection report. Now, if you wanted to listen to the Home Inspector podcast and sign up and subscribe, go to the following address, natchi.org forward slash podcast, natchi.org slash P-O-D-C-A-S-T. And there you'll find all of our podcasts that we've recorded so far and um, have lots of fun with that. We do these podcasts about once a week and it's all about home inspector business marketing strategies, and making money. So in this episode of the Home Inspector Podcast, we're talking about digits and hyphens in home inspection reports. Now, when writing home inspection reports, it's sometimes difficult to decide whether to write numbers using numerals or spelled out as words. So there's a rule of thumb for home inspectors, and that is numbers as measurements like um, two foot turnaround, five pound bucket, it's six feet long, those are measurements. And um, numbers used as percentages, such as 50% of the makeup air, or the slope of the grade should be 10%. Measurements and percentages should be rendered in your home inspection reports as digits, the actual number, right? And numbers describing the amounts and length of time um, should be rendered as, rendered as words. So amounts or how many do you have, um, use words. So um, especially if it's under 10. So I'll give you an example. Eight shingles were blown off the roof, right? Eight is under 10, and it describes how many shingles, the amount. Uh, 500 feet, that describes the amount, but it's over 10, so you use digits, 500. Zero, zero. Uh, length, length of time. So if it's under 10, right, use words. So length of time, let's say five minutes. Uh, It took me five minutes to turn on the heating system and take a measurement of the delta T. So five is under 10, and it's a a length of time. So you use the word F-I-V-E, five. Uh, If it's a length of time and it's over 10, right, use um, digits. So it would be, um, it took me 60 minutes to perform the mold inspection. 60 is over 10. It's a length of time, so use six zero. Well, that's a lot, right? So let's go over some more examples. Um, inspections should be performed in no less than uh, every two years for a one and two family dwelling. So what you wanna use are words, like right? how many, how many dwellings, how many families, sorry. So it's one and two family dwellings. It's under 10, so you use words one and two family dwellings. How about this one? Expect to use um, eight buckets of compound. So that's a word, um, sorry, that's an amount, eight buckets of drywall compound, and it's under 10, so you use a word, E-I-G-H-T. Here's another, another example. There should be a six foot turnaround at each, en- at each entrance, <laughs> excuse me. So you use the digit six, and it's actually six hyphen foot. Um, Why? Because it's a measurement, um, and you use a digit. Let's see, how about the slope of the grade should be at least 5%. Now, you tell me, how do you write that out? What is the rule for percent? For percentages, you use a digit. So, The 5% would be the digit 5 with the symbol percent. In addition to conforming to the basic rules of English, the numerals versus words distinction helps to maintain visual uniformity in your inspection reports, and it makes information recognition easier 
for your readers. Now, note the use of hyphens with numbers. In adjective phrases that modify or describe the nouns, that's an adjective, that they precede, the phrases should be hyphenated, like this. Um, to family dwelling, right? It's an adjective, to family. What kind of dwelling? To family describes the type of dwelling. To should be written out, and it's hyphenated with family. So to family. It's um, an amount, right? And uh, how many how many dwellings? It's a two family. How many families? It's a two family dwelling. So it's under ten. It's an amount, and that's the rule of thumb. If it's an amount, or how many do you have under ten? You write it out. You use words. And because it describes the dwelling, two family dwelling, you use a hyphen between two and family. Let's do another one. Five pound bucket. Five pound describes the um, amount or capacity of the bucket. So um, you use a, it's a measurement of the bucket, right? So when you have a measurement, use a digit. So five pound, that's the digit five, and it's hyphenated with pound. Five hyphen pound describes the bucket. Let's keep going. How about the six foot turnaround? How would you write six foot turnaround? Well, you would hyphenate six and foot because it describes the turnaround. It's a six foot turnaround. Now, is it S-I-X or the digit six? Well, it's a measurement, right? It's a six foot measurement. How long is it, let's say, or how wide is it? What is the dimension of it? And when you have a measurement like that, use a digit. So it's the digit six and you hyphenate it because it's six foot, which describes the turnaround. How about some uh, phrases where there is no hyphenation for the numbers? How about two families live in the dwelling? Do you use a hyphen in that sentence? Two families live in the dwelling. No, no. It's just two describes is, it, is the adjective for the noun families, two families. How about 20 pounds of nails? Nope, no hyphen there. 20 pounds of nails. 20 describes the number of pounds of nails. And when it's an amount, remember, under 10, an amount under 10 would be written out using words. If it's over 10, you write it out. So the 20 in 20 pounds of nails would actually be a digit. How about... Um, Eight shingles. Eight is an amount or how many you have, and it's under 10, so you use words. If it's over 10, like 500 feet of rear yard, then you use the digit. It's an amount, it's over 10, so you use a digit. If it's an amount and it's under 10, you use words, like eight shingles. It's very, very confusing, right? Well, this article about digits and hyphens is actually an article within our inspector library. It's a free online library for inspectors. It's open all the time, 24-7, because it's online. And it's at nachi.org slash articles. nachi.org slash articles. So I would highly recommend taking a look again at this article and trying to get it down just right. Get the rules straight so that your home inspection report is written well and it looks good. And in relation to hyphens and digits, it follows the rules of practice. So let's go over it again. Ready? If you have a measurement, use a digit such as a two foot turnaround. The two would be a digit, and it's hyphenated with foot, two foot turnaround. 
five pound bucket. Five is a measurement. Five pound is hyphenated. So it's a digit five hyphenated with pound. How about six feet long? Six feet, that's a measurement. Use a digit. And it's not hyphenated. It's six feet long. How about percentage? When you use a percentage sign, a, a symbol, use a digit all the time. So the slope of the grade should be 10%. 10 is a digit and using the percentage symbol. How about 25% of the makeup error? 25% is a percentage, right? You're using the percentage sign. So when you have a percentage, use a digit. So it would be two, five, and percentage sign. When you have an amount like um, eight shingles, or when you have, um, when you're describing how many you have, um, four light bulbs, and it's under 10, the amount is under 10, use words. So four light bulbs would be F O U R. 400 light bulbs, it's over 10, use digits, four zero zero. One more rule, when you have a length of time and it's under 10, so you use words. Five minutes, it took me five minutes to turn on the thermostat. It's under 10, it's a length of time, so you write it out as a word, F-I-V-E. If it's a length of time and it's over 10, use digits. So 60 minutes, that's a length of time, but it's over 10, so you use the digits, six zero. All right, I hope I confused you totally. <laughs> Have fun writing digits and hyphens. This is the Home Inspector Podcast. I'm Ben Gramico from InterNACHI. That's the International Association of Certified Home Inspectors. If you're interested in listening to the podcast, go to nachi.org slash podcast, and we're there. I'll talk to you next time. Write good reports. Bye.